And I don't know about you, but it's not even noon yet. I am ready to eat, brother. Very hungry. Yeah. I uh, know it kind of goes with the job. But... Meal number two of five. Exactly. Uh, we received a report of a young Caucasian male, roughly 15, 16 years old, uh, possibly listening to inappropriate music. I think he's over here. Okay. Some rough stuff too, like the Temptations. Yeah. They even said possibly Kenny G. Dolly Parton. Makes them good night. Oh. What's this kid into? There, there right. he is. We're just going to approach him and uh, try to keep our cool. Keep our cool, keep the scenario calm. Never want to let things get out of hand. Excuse me, sir. Can we talk to you for a minute? Yeah, um, you just received your report. How are you doing? Uh, good. Okay. Uh, what are you listening to? Then? Uh, Christian music, Christian music. Christian music? You mind if I. No, no. Just, no. I just want to look at this real quick. The Temptations? Do you call this Christian music? No. That's I, not mine. We got a runner. It's not yours, son. Why'd you run, sir? But then we got the gospel paddy wagon. You're going away for a long time, boy. <laughs> oh, he's a fast one. All right, let's get him in here. All right, hey, no, just take, take a seat. Sit down, sit down. Keep your calm. Y'all are not even police officers. What? Why are y'all doing this? Y'all are attacking a mic. Yeah. We're, we're, you guys are we're, not even police officers. We're of a higher calling, sir. We're, we're the Lord's That's officers. That's right. Yeah. We're just trying to enforce good Christian ethics and conduct, behavior. And uh, you need to learn a little about res respect and authority. Yeah, okay? just take a minute and think about this. I don't think we got to worry about that young man listening to anything inappropriate ever again. That's right. It's like my granddaddy always said. Man looketh on the outside, but God looketh on the iPod. It's, it's not. Oh, good night. Uh, now that I think about it, uh, probably doesn't look the best. What do you mean? I mean a couple guys, suburban neighborhood. Grab a kid against his will, put him in a white van. Doesn't look the best. In fact, I think I see a lady there on the no, phone. So. I was actually about to tell you it's not a good idea. To... Yeah. Okay. I think he's learned his lesson though. Yeah, he has. Yeah. Hey, all right, young man, I don't know what's going on for you, but this is your lucky day. Um, you are free to go, all right? Well, Just listen, I hope you learned a lesson with this. Should have been freed earlier. Yeah. What do you, sir? Do you guys know who my dad is? Mm, no. No, do, you? do you know? Do you know who we are? No. Good. Go, 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 go. You know, didn't mean to leave you guys hanging like that. We got a little yeah. excited. Yeah. Can't believe those guys just up and left us like that. What were they thinking? Oh, there they are now. What a bunch of clowns. Let's see what they got to say. Come on. Duh! Yeah, we, just tried, we just needed to get out. We kind of left you guys in the dust. Apologies. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks yeah. a lot. End of the day, no regrets for me. I think we handled it right. I just uh, hope he learned his lesson. I got to get something off my chest. What's I that? feel terrible, but. What's going on? I do know his dad. We're playing a pickleball league together on the north side, so you might want to queue up a uh, Amazon gift card for him. Maybe he'll buy some good godly music with it. Okay. Uh, here we go. Primo parking spot. Don't mind if I do. Pastor's parking. Why are we here? Some people may ask. No man is above accountability. That's right. Uh, this man said unto the heavens when the scripture clearly said into the heavens. It's, it's all it was. It's, it's just one word. Hey, I, I might have misspoke or I'm something. I'm going to tell him his fault. Let's go. Alright. No, not one jot or one tittle. We're gonna check out the office and see if we can't find a different version or something on the shelf. There's gotta be something going on. Perfect. Nobody's here. This is nice. I like it. Again. King James here checks out. He's got two of them. I'm gonna look in the shelf. I'm sure there's like a hidden compartment back here that he's 
maybe hiding it uh, behind here somewhere. Let me see over in this section here. That's definitely not it. Oh, I think I might have found it. You know, we didn't really think this one through. I thought pastors only worked on Sundays. Uh, uh, nice, nice place you got here. Uh, it's not what it looks like. We can explain. Yeah, we, we were just checking out the study things. Uh, get out of my office. Get out of my spot. Yes, sir. Just misunderstand. Turkeys. That's a uh, pretty dicey situation we got ourselves in here. Well, glad we got it straightened out. Oh. It's like my granddaddy always said, uh, if you're going to correct a preacher, you better make sure you're right. You're telling the truth. <laughs> That's a hard lesson though. It's our cue to go. Such it's, a beautiful day it outside. It is a beautiful day. You know, being officers of the law, the law, we uh, we get weary in the battle. We need to get a break. This is just kind of time for us to yeah. get our minds right. One of our favorites, sipping on uh, some cold Diet Cokes from uh, McDonald's. Yep. Watching kids play, I could do this all day long. Not watching kids play. Man, you are the king of awkward. Thank you. As you can see, there's this father there that is, frankly, a terrible parent. These kids are brats. Retweet. And I just really wish there was something that we could do about it. I'd... There is. Break time's over. Let's enforce the law. Okay. Excuse me, uh, sir. Can you step away from the children? Excuse me? Come on over. Just, just, come, just come here, please. What, what's happening? Uh, well, we are officers here, and we're worried about the well-being of your children. And frankly, you as a father, your children are brats. Excuse <laughs> me? And, uh, Someone had to say it. And I, I really just wanted to implore you to try parenting a little bit. Yeah, it's not uh, that hard. They're kids at the park. They're just having yeah. fun. I understand now, that. No, they're a little out of hand. It's not oh, that out of hand. Oh, yeah, they're out of hand. Yeah, they're out of hand. The nerve of this guy to talk to us like that. Listen, hey, it's just not that hard. You need to call that hard. You're making this worse than it has to be. No, okay, you need to come with me. No, stop it. You are coming with me. What are you doing? You need to stop. Us. What are you doing? You know, I may have crossed the line a little bit. You know, I had to step in because you were this close to losing your testimony. Thank you. So, uh, what is wrong with you? Make sure you kids listen to your dad. I bet we need some actual police officers. No, like, what you, is happening? Break time. You Sorry. have a good day. I hope we've been a help to you, yeah. kids. I, um, just, you need to. Come on, another call. Let's go. Okay. We got, we got right, another let's call. Go. I thought it went smoother than my granny's gravy. You know, okay. It, um, it's yeah. like my granddaddy always said: "Spare the rod, spoil the parent." That's not how the saying goes, but uh, just another day in the life of a biblical law enforcement officer. We didn't choose this life; it chose us. You know, as we demonstrated the last couple of days, serving God can be difficult. What's the challenge? There's much adversity. It's difficult. There's persecution. And adversity. Not many people have your back. And you can expect to be persecuted. And obviously it's uh, something that you run out of words to describe, some people may. But you know, it's like my granddaddy always said, so much the more as you see the day approaching. It's uh, Hebrews.